Good days in order for me to get to uh, from school to the county on a good day, it could take me 40 minutes on a good day. Um, if it rains in a bad day, it could take me an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. Um, I think most people do what I do in the morning. They become very creative as they drive to work and try to figure out what's the best, uh, the least passive resistance. And sometimes you're lucky and sometimes you're not. Basically, like everybody else, I'm driving myself, which is what I've been doing all my life. And, uh, but I marvel at, you know, our car culture, which I've talked about, really gets cemented when you start looking at how many people are in their cars. One person per car, and that's, you know, seems to be the, the standard here in, in South Florida. I've, been, I've probably been more aware than ever of, of traffic patterns, hot points, um, you know, how the lights are working. So, I've, I, you know, I think I've started to get more and more of an appreciation uh, with, with, with a mindset of how do we fix this thing? How do we change this? So, so far we've been lucky we missed the train today, which is, uh, which is a good thing. So the car behind me doesn't pull over as they just can to do this. <laughs> Hey, good morning, how are you? Okay, all right. I think the issues that we have, um, which is another product of complaints that I'll get, is um, we have too many people driving in Miami that don't know how to drive. So I'll hear that a lot. That goes to the blocking of the medium, that goes to you know all of a sudden trying to make a left-hand turn from a middle lane. Uh, you hear that, that kind of conversation. This, is, this becomes one of the hot spots now. Um, Okeechobee will be backed up all the way up to little June, where then it'll start, uh, it'll clear up a little bit until you get to State Road 112. Uh, but this, this will be one of, the, one of the flash points, the hot points. We don't have any alternative other than, this is now picking up anybody that was coming out of Hialeah Gardens and anybody that's driving toward downtown or toward the east from the west end of Hialeah are now using Okeechobee, and uh, and this will start backing up. Uh, I think you there is a, a real concerted effort by some drivers to avoid the tolls because they they feel that they've become too many tolls, and and I it's hard for me to disagree with them. But some of the exits now have tolls, so what you used to do was get off and then get back on. There's not you're not avoiding that anymore. So. That's a problem, and I think uh, when folks start finding alternatives, they get on 8th Street, they'll get on Flagler, you know, they'll find other ways of getting, you know, to avoid the toll. Um, everybody understands the issue, everybody complains about the issue. Um, but, you know, sometimes politics gets in the way. Which corridor goes first? Which corridor was promised? What, what corridor has to happen? Um, in that political dance, that theater, nothing gets done but for me east west is critical it's critical because i think that's where you know you've got a, a lion's share of uh, your population that right now just has zero options zero options as far as other than tolling that's it all the agencies all the alphabet organizations that are created that that's all fine that's good you know at the end of the day it takes the you know somebody or or a group of elected officials willing to put their name out there and and stand behind something i'm just applying common sense to these kind of things and uh and i know there has to be a better way okay there has to be a better way there has to be an alternative if you look what's in front of us here a wide span of concrete that's it um I gotta get, I gotta give an alternative out there, and uh, you know I'm willing to do it. I've said I'm, I'm putting my neck out there, and I believe there, there are ways of doing this. There's, you know, financing increments that could be done. They do this in other places. You know, why not do it here? You know, and just, just let's do one. Let's do one and get it over with. Uh, our options on financing are, are not good. Are not, they're not robust. You know, we're down to one. And let's start mapping out a vision that gives a person a, a reason to leave their car, whether it's at a station or be dropped off and be able to move through our community. 
Now, one of the things that we need to reconcile is that this is not going to be for my generation. This is not for me because I'm I've already built the bad habits of needing my car. But I think there has to be a, a concerted effort, a, a, a real buy-in. If we're going to buy into all the cliches that the children are our future and all that stuff, then you know what? Let's make an investment and let's just bite the bullet and say, look, we're going to do this for them, to give them an alternative. But they got to see one. I think folks want to see one real plan to say, wow, they're actually working on this stuff. Sir, how are you?